self-proclaimed introvert you, you've mentioned that multiple times today um so I, i'm starting to believe you um <laughs> how how is the introvert you, you sort of story about how you were more reserved than what you your supervisor felt that you need to be you need to be john wayne barking orders but you found a different way to do it um what would you suggest like how, how do you go about influencing and or even let's just say let's say networking first how do you go by about networking building those strategic relationships if you don't necessarily feel like you're that extrovert that can do that how, how do you how do you go about building i think it's a really good question because it's, it's going to give me a chance to talk about something um, that's a little bit maybe different a different perspective than you might hear so people might say well everybody in the workplace should bow to me come and focus on me and help me succeed and I'm like, you know what? No, you have to adapt. So I'll give you here a little um, leadership lesson. One of my principles for success is if you want to succeed, you have to anticipate. So look over the horizon at what's coming next. There's always an uncharted waters, an iceberg over the horizon. You have to navigate around. You have to adapt, adapt, adjust and be agile. And that's all kind of personal activity yes there should be people reaching out their hand reaching back and pulling you forward and mentoring you being an ally to you coaching you but you really have to take it on yourself to adapt yourself so yeah i'm an introvert that means i need to recharge after a session like this that i love interacting with a, gr a group uh, a podcast or a crowd but it drains me whereas if you're an extrovert it fills you up and so I've learned to adapt my personality and my my behaviors to succeed in the field I've chosen, which requires a lot of public engagement because I love my job. I love what I do. And I just find the time to decompress afterwards and to recharge myself. And so you have to know who you are and you have to test and try yourself to understand who you are and what you need to do to become who you want to be nobody else is going to take you from where you are to where you want to be even though it's all about that now in the coaching world get the right coach or mentor and they'll take you where you want to be no it's on you and if you abdicate that responsibility because you've been told that you they're, they owe it to you because you're disadvantaged or you've been told you're underprivileged or you've been told you're a woman and minority and you need an ally. Yeah, that sounds great. And it's a, it's good. And everyone should be doing that, reaching out to help others, but it's all on you at the end of the day to create your own fate. Thank you for, thank you for saying all of that. I, <laughs> you've said so many things. Um, you, you talked about, you said testing, um, which means action, right? You have to do something. You get the, once you do it, you can figure out if it works or if it doesn't work, if you like it, you don't like it. But until you do it, it you don't know. You don't really know. I love that you talk about that. You talked about accountability. Um, it's up to you. Um, I, I tell people right now, like, you know, I, I'm in complete agreement with you. Everyone wants to be like, oh, they owe me this organization should be promoting me or should be taking me to training. Well, what if they don't, right? Are you just going to sit there for the rest of your life because they didn't invest in you? No, you you figured out, you take action, it's your life. I love it. You talked about um, understanding yourself. Um, I, you know, so what I prescribe, I create this, what's called the C4 strategic networking model, where it talks about internal, you know, first is a mindset change, understanding um, that networking and influencing is not bad. Then it's um, internal clarity, understanding yourself, then external clarity, then um, behavior change. But all that we all want to talk about, oh, here's a networking strategy. You need to say this or say that or dress like this. All that doesn't matter if you don't understand yourself and how you operate. You know, surprisingly enough, I'll, I'll say this and I'll be quiet, Sandy. Um, I Everyone thinks I'm this introvert. I tell you, I, I speak to not as big as crowds as you. Like, you know, I'll speak to you know, 400, 500 people and I'm laughing, I'm joking, I'm having a great time. When I'm done, I go home and veg. 
right? Because I am drained after each one of those, 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 those opportunities, but I also know I love speaking. I love helping. So I've had to adapt. I plan for that stuff. So I, I just, I love everything you said. <laughs> I said a lot of that to encourage people who might feel like they're the quiet one and that they'll never be as successful as the bolder, louder, more, you know, less inhibited person. No, you can be equally or more successful and you just have to um, look inside and find your strengths. And I have a <laughs> Um, leadership lessons. I have a little talk that's 10 leadership lessons from the Kung Fu Panda movie, <laughs> which there's so many leadership lessons in that movie. It's amazing. But Poe, the big fat panda, and yeah. he defeats the muscular uh, snow leopard, uh, the evil you know, antagonist, because of all the things that people look at him and think are disadvantages, like being too fat and everything. And it all comes back as strengths. But he had to look within. And they, at the um, end of the movie, they pulled down a magic scroll from the top of the palace that's supposed to tell mm -hmm. this fat panda mm -hmm. Poe all the secrets to succeeding against the antagonist, the foe. And instead, when he unrolls the scroll that's supposed to have the wise words of success, it's his own fat panda face and mirrored paper, it, which means you look within to find the strengths that God has given you that are in there but when's the last time you looked and tried to pull them out? And this is where mentors can really help reaching back the hand, like you said, reaching out instead of just looking back, reaching back and telling somebody and tell the person who's not the top performer in your office or the peer who's not the top performer, but they do something good, but it's not rising to the award level. Tell them, hey, you did a great job there. Wow, you've got talent. And then the next week they win the award because You've given them this thing that just fills them with confidence. Uh, oh, she noticed that I did this and even thought it was good. And the person hadn't thought their own work was good, right? Because they were too self-effacing to, to say, well, this is a great project that I just finished. Mm -hmm. And no one else noticed because they just kind of were too busy to say anything. Take the time. Stop. Look left and right. Find somebody doing something good and give them a little compliment. Five years later, they'll write you an email and say that thing you said to me, that compliment you gave me changed my life. And I just want to let you know that. And you're like, where'd this email come from? I don't even remember this person. But you said something that day that changed their yeah. life. Hello, everyone. This is Alex Trimble from GPS Leadership Solutions. And if you found this last interview to be awesome, spectacular, and, and actually you benefited from it, let me tell you, this is only the tip of the iceberg. Visit the alextrimbleshow.com, information below in the description, and that's where you'll find the full uninterrupted interview. And I'm telling you, there's so much great content you'll hear from this past leader, as well as all the other leaders we've already interviewed. So remember, don't just look back, reach back. If there's someone who you think will benefit from this interview or any of the other interviews, make sure you share it with them. Click the like, click the subscribe, and as I always like to end all my sessions, Stay strong, stay positive, and definitely stay moving.